Hi everyone, I'm Charlotte and this is Orleans House Gallery in Twickenham. We're a free Grade 1 listed contemporary art gallery on the banks of the River Thames in Twickenham and I'm going to show you around. This is one of our two exhibition spaces and in the main gallery we show established artists, emerging artists and artworks from our Richmond Borough Art Collection. Let me take you upstairs to the mezzanine. I'll show you around and take you up to our study gallery. Upstairs is the rest of our Remember the Future exhibition with works by artists like Bryony Ben Jabbert and this leads us all the way through to our study gallery where we house the Richmond Borough Art Collection. There's lots you can see in the study gallery at Orleans House Gallery. You can either come here and browse our collection of books about the contemporary area and the history of the borough or you can come and have a look through some of the exciting things in our drawers. Artworks on our racking in the study gallery either show works from the collection that relate to the gallery over time or if you're more interested in the people and places of the borough you can come and see some artworks relating to contemporary figures. Welcome to the National Archives, a hidden gem in Richmond, West London, housing over 1,000 years of the nation's stories. Tucked away in Leafy Kew, just a 10 minute walk from Kew Garden Station, we are free and open to all. Everyone is welcome to explore our exhibitions, beautiful gardens and the treasures in our collection. From royal love letters to 20th century prime ministers, the Doomsday Book to Cold War spies. Our collections hold some of the world's most iconic historic documents, as well as revealing a more hidden and personal side to history. Come and visit us here at the Poppy Factory in Richmond, where we're bringing 100 years of history to life at our all new visitor centre. You'll see how our veterans still make remembrance wreaths by hand today, and you can get involved and make your own poppy too. Since 1922, veterans with health conditions have been supported into employment by the Poppy Factory. Our charity was established by Major George Housen. His vision was to employ soldiers who had been wounded and disabled during the First World War to make remembrance poppies. By booking tickets to visit the Poppy Factory, you can support the Armed Forces community and help transform veterans' lives. Hello and welcome to the Museum of Richmond. My name is Laura and I'm the curator. We have a collection of around 5,000 objects which tell the story of Richmond through from its time as a prehistoric settlement to its life as a fashionable town in present day. One of the oldest things that we have is a mammoth's tooth that dates back to around 400,000 BC. One of the things that visitors are always really excited about is our model of Richmond Palace. The palace was a favourite residence for a number of Tudor monarchs, including Henry VIII. Elizabeth I also lived in the palace and indeed died there in 1603. A favourite item of many of the younger visitors to the museum is our model of the trumpeter. The real statues themselves still adorn the outside of Trumpeter's house, which was built in the early 18th century on part of the site of the former Richmond Palace. Hello, my name is Rita Piglionica and I'm the Learning and Volunteer Officer. This house is rather special because it was designed by the great British landscape painter J.M.W. Turner himself. This was his country house when he he was too stressed out from the busy life he had in central London. This is a reproduction of the view that Turner would have had from this window. And here we are in the kitchen. When Turner lived here, he wasn't all by himself. Actually, his old dad came to live with him. And this was his favourite place because it was the warmest room of the house and you can see it's quite cosy and welcoming. And in this room you can also find what we like to call the ghost of old dad appearing on the wall. Hi, I'm Michelle Whitby, founder and curator of the Ilpai Island Museum, and along with Trevor Bayliss, we'd love to welcome you here. We had the full gamut of trad jazz going through rhythm and blues, R&B, blues itself, and lots of American blues musicians coming through, through the days of psychedelia and into the final days of hard-hitting progressive underground music. We had the Stones on a five-month residency. You can find out how Rod Stewart effectively kicked off his career here in 1964, find out why Pink Floyd employed bedsheets to their gigs in 1967. And David Bowie, known as he was in those days as Davy Jones. If you visit the museum, what you get is a guided tour of everything that we have in the museum. 